You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, GH fans, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I really, really want to talk about the confession that Carly Spencer makes to Jason Morgan at the end of this week about her night with John Cates and how she might try and run one of her infamous schemes to help somebody, you know, one of those plots that she cooks up that ends up blowing up in her face. Are we about to see Carly sidling up close? Closer to Jagger thinking she can help Jason. Maybe. But before we dig in, please subscribe if you haven't yet. So all longtime General Hospital watchers know that Carly Spencer has a very bad habit with good intentions of trying to help out people she cares about. She comes up with schemes that never quite work out the way she intends. She goes into them with good intentions, but then it doesn't come out that way. The most recent example, of course, would be the SEC in Insider trading disaster that cost her five million dollars and her half of the Metro Court Hotel. She was told by both Drew and Michael not to do it, but she ignored them and went right ahead and did it anyway because she thought it was her way to help them out. Instead, it went completely off the rails, almost sent her to prison, and did send Drew to prison. So, if you're wondering whether Carly has learned her lesson about schemes and plots, well. No, my guess is she did not because in all the decades she's been on General Hospital, she hasn't learned that lesson. She's been doing this same type of thing for so many years, and that's just something you expect from her character. Now, I'm wondering whether Carly is about to pull some sort of stunt thinking that she is going to help Jason out of the tough spot that he's in with the FBI, specifically with John Jagger Cates. The problem is Carly is working with imperfect information. Hardly anybody knows that Jagger used Carly as the leverage to force Jason to agree to be an informant for this undercover FBI investigation on Pikeman. Clearly, if Carly decides to work her way closer to FBI agent Kate's thinking she can help Jason, that whole plan would be faulty from the start. But the thing is, John does seem to be drawn to Carly, and I think he has been. I've I've sensed a vibe with them from the start. And really, I don't think Jagger has anything against Carly personally. She was just the tool that he was able to use to force Jason to work undercover for him as an informant. I honestly really enjoyed the dynamic between Kate's and Carly when she saved him from the muggers, took him back to the Metro Court, spent the night taking care of him in case he was concussed. And I could totally see her using that situation as a springboard to one of those classic schemes she likes to cook up. I could see Carly pursuing something romantic with Jagger, thinking she could persuade him to let Jason off the hook. And it is important to note that Laura Wright who plays Carly and Steve Burton, who plays Jason, have both said independently and multiple times that they do not think the writers are going to pair Jason and Carly romantically. They have both heavily implied that they they feel like that the longtime best friends will remain in that platonic friend zone. Laura Wright said that in an interview with Soap Digest and Burton said it on his own podcast. So if you're one hoping to see a Carly-Jason romance, it seems increasingly unlikely to manifest that way. However, they have thrown Jagger into Carly's path on several occasions. But remember, she told him to stay away from Bobby's diner and get his food elsewhere when he told her that Jason had been arrested and she blew up at him, called him a liar, all that stuff, called him Jagger and, you know, all that. So it seems like Carly may soften her approach and throw him a BLT and let him sit at the counter again now that they had their little bonding moment. It To me, it feels like General Hospital right now is doing two plots that are in my favorite genre when it comes to romance, and that is a knit 
niche called enemies to lovers. That's where people that don't like each other wind up having really exciting chemistry. They usually fall in bed and then sometimes they fall in love. I see them going there very clearly with Nina and Drew, at least to the physical part of it. And now I'm getting a similar vibe coming off Jagger and Carly, the whole enemies to lovers thing, which I love. So while Nina is blabbing to Drew and Curtis and Michael about catching Carly with special agent John Cates dripping wet and wearing only a towel, Carly heads over to the warehouse to talk to Jason Morgan. No doubt she's going to tell him that she came across Jagger being brutally beaten and saved him. And I just wonder if she might suggest to Jason that she could get closer to the FBI guy to try and help him. But of course, if Carly does suggest this, I suspect Jason will tell her to stay away from that guy. Jagger is trouble. And that's because Jason knows that John Cates holds Carly's freedom in the palm of his hand. Cates has all the evidence he needs to file RICO charges and put Carly away. So Jason knows she doesn't need to be anywhere near that man. But tell me when Carly ever ever listens to anyone when she gets like this and starts scheming. In this instance, I will totally be down to watch Carly starting some sort of fake romance, fomance with Kate's behind Jason's back, thinking she's doing stone cold, some sort of favor. From there, I could see Jagger being legit interested in Carly, although he would probably initially suspect that she is trying to run some sort of con on him. And I could see Carly being legit interested in Jagger, even if it only starts out as one of her wild schemes. So I am really enjoying her scenes with Jagger. And I think they would make a very nice looking couple. They're both nice and tall, blonde, blue eyed. Plus her getting involved with Jagger would irritate Sonny, which would probably be an added benefit for Carly since she is sick and tired of his unhinged attitude towards her lately. But Carly playing games with Jagger would be her playing with fire. She might get burned. Then again, she might enjoy the heat. So we will just have to see how it goes. But I'm very, very interested to see if Carly deliberately gets closer to Jagger just because, you know, she wants to maybe or possibly because she thinks she can help her best friend Jason get out from under the FBI's thumb. Hey, drop your comments and let me know what you think. Are you feeling a vibe between Carly and Kate? And be sure to click subscribe if you haven't. Definitely come back soon. We will have a full roster of General Hospital weekly spoilers tomorrow, plus predictions, two-week spoilers, and lots more. We are here talking GH seven days a week on the number one most followed soap opera spoilers channel. And as always, I am your host, Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.